chefs are very quick in, in, in what we want to do. So I'll go slowly, and if there are any questions, uh, you know, we can raise hands yes. and I can answer. If you have questions, definitely raise your hands, let me know. And we also have our chef assistants that are running around here. Just wave at them if you're over there right now. Great. So if you have need any help with any of your cooking implements or any ingredients or have any questions, they're your, your first line of defense, and we can also help you as well. So just wave at us if you need any help. And without further ado, and I'll just, we'll just go through the uh, steps more if we need to do that. Chef? Perfect. Okay. 
Uh, before I start, I'll quickly introduce myself in 20 seconds. Uh, I, uh, I've done a few restaurants in the city, but I started with Amaya. Prior to that, I kept failing. I wanted to change Indian food from buffets to what we were doing. And then Amaya Indian Room happened in Lee side. Uh, since then, I've done, this morning was the 38th restaurant. It, it's called Good Karma in Fairview Mall. Uh, so I've taken Indian food to which a lot more healthier. Uh, people tend to think Indian food is very heavy, so I wanted to change the perception. Um, I got educated in Switzerland in French culinary, uh, moved to Australia, studied there, worked in Dubai. Then, in I, then I ended up here in the best country uh, of the world. I think this is the most amazing country and, and I think this is where I got the opportunity to become an entrepreneur. The way the systems are in this country, I think a person like me who can become an entrepreneur is just amazing. So I'm very thankful that I'm here. And I'm thankful everybody's there. Let's start. Uh, let's start rolling. Mm -hmm. um, just be careful. Obviously, induction hot. Yeah. Uh, make sure you have your uh, kitchen uh, kitchen towels and everything uh, with you. Yes, it is. They are all induction cooktops. So if you haven't worked with induction before, it gets hot fast. So just be prepared for that, and we'll talk you through. Let's let's get the uh, the water boiling. I think. Uh, uh, I think you guys are already already boiled. Just take a take a peek. Looks like everyone's there, perhaps. See, I'm behind here. They, they didn't even give me cauliflower or a cut, so I'm gonna oh, do that. Oh, okay. It's all right. It's all right. Are we missing some cauliflower for chef? No, no, I, I, I have it. I, I got right it. That's okay, what I perfect. To do. Perfect. All right. So you mentioned, uh, and we first met ten years ago at Amaya on yes. the view. Yes, that's right. So if you haven't had a chance to go to Amaya or any, uh, like I said, the 38 restaurants you've got, Amaya uh, is... Well, I ended up knowing as more of a food court chef, so yes, I had to change course. it. I thought I'm going to come back and do a new fine dining, good restaurant. Yes. So, so it, absolutely delicious food that you serve. And again, you are also sommelier as well, too. Yes, so, I, I um, worked at the CN Tower for three years. Yes. And that's where I, um, I think the interest was into wines. I, I remember my director, food and beverage director said, Oh, you can't do wine course. I said, why? He said, because your taste buds are messed up. I said, why? Because you eat spicy food. So that's how it all started for me. It was more of a challenge I to do I was going to say, that'd be a challenge to it me. It was a so challenge. And, you know, later I realized this is how he used to push me to do more and more. So right. that's where it all started. Perfect. So is the, is the water boiling for everyone there? Does everyone have boiling water at this point? Maybe okay. another minute. Okay. We'll add uh, a teaspoon of salt. Uh, why don't we get the spices all out and you can see what, what you have yeah. around. Now might be a good time while you're waiting for the water to come up to temperature to take the lids off of all your little containers there. If they're not off already, that'll maybe speed up the process when we're looking at them. We have a number of different I see this. Like I said, this is the best kind of cooking because you don't have to do any of the prep work today, right? Except for you. You have to do a little prep work. <laughs> you know what? I'm writing a cookbook. So while I've been writing this cookbook, I wanted to make Indian food, which a lot of people think is very, uh, it's very tough to cook. So I wanted to create recipes which are like almost like four or five steps. You, you don't have to do much with them. It's more about spicing. Mm -hmm. So this is why when... When I was doing this recipe, I remember Chef Trevor sitting there. He said to me, oh, your recipe is very easy. The reason is, you know, I wanted to create where it's four or five steps. It's not that you, you're working with too many, too many things, right? Too many steps. And I think you can talk about sort of anything that we get, a lot of food that we get in restaurants of any types of cuisine. Often what's happening in a restaurant is a multiple step hours of prep work, the whole team goes into it, but there's ways to sort of take those flavors and make it something that's more accessible for the home cook as well. Right. right. Yes. Right. I mean, some people can execute restaurant quality food at home. For other for people like me, I need something a little bit more simple. You know, we chefs don't eat what we cook in the restaurant. Right. So, <laughs> so it's not... Uh, I mean, restaurant food is more, uh, there's a lot of people working there, a lot of people yeah. to do the work, right? At home, you want it to be very simple. I know my husband used to own and operate a restaurant and be in the kitchen, and I know that I drive him crazy when I'm in the kitchen because he's so much faster than I am. 
I know. Well, that's sort of that's the only thing I know. <laughs> restaurants and restaurants and restaurants. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, okay. How are we doing, everyone? How's your water at this point? Boiling? Yes. Are we there? Do we have uh, the turmeric? Can we see the turmeric? Like half a teaspoon in the water. Now you've got three uh, three spoons there. Just make sure the 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 right one, extreme right one, you leave it for tastings. Do you guys need help with your turmeric? You and when you're yeah, picking... The turmeric maybe up under the... Uh, there. Can you guys see that? Yeah. And when you're picking up the over. lid, just make sure you have a kitchen towel. It's going to be hot there. Oh, okay. That. What is that? Do we add salt first? Salt. Salt. Yeah, one yeah. teaspoon salt. One teaspoon of salt. And half a teaspoon of the turmeric. And again, we've got our chef assistants that are out circulating on the floor here. So definitely raise your hand if you need any assistance or any point, or I can help direct one of them over to you as well. They're going to be more helpful than the chef will be way more helpful than me. They'll be way more helpful. And again, half a teaspoon of the, the red chili. Okay, so that's a really dark red, right? Yes, okay. here we go. That's the dark red one. There are two of them. One is bright, uh, bright red. One is dark red. So the dark one, just uh, just a pinch there. And we get the florets of the cauliflower in the water here. Cauliflower in the water, the entire container that they have? No, no. Yes. Just be careful with the top, please. Yeah, cauliflower in the water. Yeah. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Good. Cauliflower going in the water? Three minutes. It's going to be three minutes in the boiling water. Are you starting